Hi, everyone. Um, so, thanks for the follow. Uh, I assume that was yeah, that was Echo Zack Three. Thanks for the follow. Uh, hi, Chess Solver. Um, that was Solaris. Yes, so Solaris. Um, no, Solaris, Solaris spelled like this, is a, a Celeste map, um, which I'll probably play sometime in the future, who knows. Um, so, wait, Twitch is acting up, let me just, okay. Twitch chat was doing some weird stuff. No, I don't care that the person who's sending a message is a recurring chatter. Why? I'm gonna have to reload this. There we go. Okay, now it should be good. So, I'll turn up this audio and then I'll... Uh, unfortunately, I have to stop this masterpiece. That is a um, green path, but everything is my voice. It's not my voice, it's just, that's what it's called. Okay, Twitch is still acting up. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It'll just make it harder to reach out. Alright. So, oh, it's, why is it WASD? Those are indeed the first two lyrics to Never Gonna Give You On. Actually, that's not true. The first two lyrics in the chorus. Um, okay, let's just restart. So my timer starts to zero. So, this is a game about you know where your soul turns against you and it's inspired by celeste so that that's that's all you're getting that that's all of the lore that there is god this is going to be so confusing to play with wasd okay so jumping is just jumping so yeah okay also you can play this with the controller but mine didn't work so we're just not going to do that can I not go right? Well, I'm just dead. But that's... That's fun. I don't have to go up, it's... I actually have to go right. So I'm dead. No matter what I do. Right? No, because this is a, this is actually a wall. This isn't though. Maybe those aren't actually spikes. Okay, they are. Unfortunate. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, never mind. I thought that was a secret or something. By the way, is the game audio good? I think it's it's very quiet. Let me turn it up. No, it would be kind of embarrassing if I already fail at this first obstacle. I mean, this can't go through here. Yellow? What, what do you mean, yellow? Oh, you have to go around this. Cool. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, this is going to be horrible on keyboard, I've just realized. <laughs> I probably should have tested this first, but um... You know, I thought, you know, the first part is alright. Oh, I suck at playing things with a keyboard. Okay. I mean, what did I expect? It's a 2D platformer. Of course, it's... Okay, I can probably use the thing to actually correct myself when I do fall. Okay, there I just don't need to jump. <laughs> okay, yeah, and then I need to go around. We will get this. Okay, if you do a short hop, it actually does... No, it doesn't work. Okay. Oh, come on, get me up there. Okay, I need to do a, a large bounce off the last one. Oh, damn it, okay. Oh, God, okay. Okay, and then I need to do a jump again. Good thing that there's a checkpoint right there, because otherwise, um... <laughs> damn. No, wait. Yeah, now I'm screwed. Okay. No, why did I press enter? I need to press space. Okay, so, you know, th this game isn't all that hard, actually. It's just, you know, me sucking. Imagine if I was doing Celeste, like this, with a keyboard. That would just not, that would just not work. Like, my my friend who has beaten the Grandmaster Lobby, he plays Celeste on keyboard. I don't- I don't understand how that is possible. I do not have the... You know... I do not have the ability to do that. Oh, hi, McWiFi. How are you doing? Oh, come on. <laughs> I promise I don't suck platform is this much oh come on no okay um yeah i'm all right um tomorrow i'll be doing i uh, i you know i have a concert planned for flute like a flute recital it's just the same piece that i had to do for my exam but the person who you know is supposed to be accompanying me on piano uh well he's not available and that person was already someone who's substituting for another person because they like hurt their wrist. So now we have to get a third person and it's like this concert pianist and like 90 minutes before the concert we still have to rehearse the piece for the first time together. I mean we can both do the piece probably. I mean I don't know about him but I, I assume it'll be fine. But I can do the piece, it's just, you know, getting things like properly, you know, synced up and really uh, make sure that the, the voices really mesh together. I, I mean the parts, like the, the flute and the piano. Like to, to make sure that happens, you need at least like a couple of days. 
like uh, 90 minutes before the concert is a bit <laughs> is a bit of a stretch and also the rehearsal will probably be like 10 minutes or something because he also has other people that also need to come so you know I'm not the only one who's pro uh, probably struggling with this Okay, then I need to go left, and then I'm basically good. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm changing the stream title to Emma learns how to play a game on keyboard. Because the funny thing is, I was doing 140 before the stream, and I thought, you know what? I can actually do this on keyboard. This isn't too bad. But this is so much harder for some reason. Okay, I... Oh, okay, I needed to hold space there hi coach um yeah have fun with the lurk <laughs> celeste on keyboard as a challenge run oh that would be that would be something that would surely be something i mean i've already gotten archer to play celeste on controller <laughs> when he was at my place and it was a you know, it was hilarious. He actually was pretty good at wave dashing. He even managed to do... Uh, what's it called? C-pops, which are really difficult. He can't even do them consistently on keyboard. But he got he got one five times in a row. I can't even do that. That's just... Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> I pressed up, I think. Hmm. You know, the speedrun for this is two minutes, but I'm starting to think now it's actually quite a lot, <laughs> because this probably takes like 10 seconds for someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> No, five times in a row is definitely consistent. I mean, um, just he can't do it consistently on computer, but he can do it on controller. Which is just... Why? Exactly? Is that the case? Let me try something. Let me try... Oh, that's so much easier. I just need to... Yeah, okay. I just need to have jumping and moving on separate things. And then it's so much easier. Oh, yeah, okay. Get good. Yeah, true. Oh, this is so much easier, Jesus. I mean, it it's less comfortable for my hands, but only slightly, so... Wait, what? Oh, this regenerates? Okay, cool. Okay. Hello, TIE Laser. Or oh, sorry, H hello. That's that's what you said. Yep, just going through spikes, amazing. Um, I mean, the 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 other part of this cat can go to the spikes, just the cat itself can't. 
Hmm, okay. That wasn't too difficult. I really spent a ton of time on the second checkpoint, I'm now just breezing through this. Never mind. The DM from earlier made me think I may missed the stream, so I'm glad I didn't. Oh yeah, yeah, I probably could have worded that better. You're right. This is really Kaizo. Yeah, okay, they, they said it was Kaizo, but I, I didn't really believe them, but wow. This looks cool. Yeah, it's, you know, it's actually really cool. Jesus. I was getting frustrated just now before you joined because I can't play games on controller, uh, on, on keyboard. But, um, yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize you were gone, McWiFi. Also, I love how Twitch is saying there is one viewer right now. That's truly, truly what is happening right now. Um... <laughs> the spikes remind you of, uh... Kaizo Super Mario World? Yeah, yeah, they do. They're also kinda like the spikes in I Wanna Be The Guy. Which I haven't played, but I have played uh, a mod of that, not another Nido game, which is difficult. Yeah, I'm also terrible at that one. That is just like that game is so precise. Twitch and YouTube are both incredibly inconsistent with that. Wow, amazing. You would expect, you know, like this big, I don't know, multi million dollar corporation, more than that, billion dollar corporation to be able to count, but, but no. The more I look at this, the more I think that the Leaf Dad probably played a lot of Kaizo Mario World. They say it's a Kaizo Celeste inspired game, so you know, I, I assume the Celeste inspiration is the, you know, I have two sides kind of thing. And then the Kaizo is, you know, everything else. Oh, okay. Wait, why am I doing that, this? I am doing this the wrong way again. I was... Okay, I need to hold there. Which is not happening right now. Come on. Okay, you can just hold it before. Oh, okay, yeah. I could be up for, sh for chess. We might actually do that. Um, I'll do it after this game, but before 140. Oh, that was a wall. G good to know. I think if you're actually, you know, good at playing things on a keyboard, this would probably be a really fun game to speedrun. And if I actually got this working on controller, which there is an option to play on controller, it just doesn't work for me. Like the, the pass screen glitched out. And I couldn't get off the pause screen at all. So I, you know, I don't think the actual game will be much better. Because I also couldn't, like, input anything. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, I need to... Because the snowball already moves a bit, I, I need to tackle that differently. Uh, sure. <laughs> I mean, if I'm inside the snowball, can I just jump off it? Oh, thanks for the follow. I'm gonna 
a lot of followers recently. Well, thanks for the follow, um, McWiFi. Yeah, it is growing. Like, a lot. It's really surprising me. I just realized I have to get that thing, which I didn't get, like, half of the time. Because otherwise, you know, I can't... Whoa, that was a bounce. <laughs> that was certainly a bounce. But yeah, like, I think... The moment I publish, you know, the the Celeste Grabless video, my, ch my channel is either going to like explode or it's just gonna like, no one's gonna care. My, my YouTube channel, I mean. And like my Twitch is doing pretty well recently because I'm like, you know, doing a lot of streams, I guess. And also I'm trying to do as many different games as possible, not just Celeste. Because if you just keep doing the same thing, it's like, I don't think you have as much opportunity to really grow. Oh god, okay. I don't know. D don't don't at me on that. Maybe if, if you want to have advice on that, maybe ask someone who you know has more followers or subscribers than me. Wait, why, why are you telling me to go up? I can't... There is nothing here. Oh, I need to jump above the... Okay, yeah. And then I need to do that. Well, that was something. I'm glad there's uh, just basically infinite bubbles here. Yes, about 10 bubbles is infinite. You heard that. You heard it here first, folks. What about 11? That's infinity plus 1. Which is still infinity. What about 0 divided by 0? It can be any number we want. It can be infinity or it cannot be infinity. Okay, but where am I supposed to go from here? Like below? Above? To, to the sun? Oh, I probably need to... Yeah, okay. I just need to jump and then fall down. Okay, got it. That this will be the run, except if there's like a whole other section after this. Which I think we're getting close to the end of this checkpoint. Oops. I haven't really said much about the music, but um, I, kn I mean it's nice. It's nothing special, but, um, you know, nice and calm music for something as Kaizo as this. Would 10 to the 10 be infinity to the infinity? Uh, yes, that, which is still infinity. I mean, if you have 0 to the infinity, then, yeah, that's indeterminate, but... Infinity to the infinity is still definitely just infinity, because it just keeps growing. Maybe if you have infinity to minus infinity, then maybe that's indeterminate, I don't know. I don't know, actually. Pro probably it's just... I don't know. Probably it's just z zero, actually. There we go. Um... Tree of tree of ten, oh my god. That's going to be the largest... In, th that's still gonna be infinite. Yeah, definitely infinite. 
I was almost about to say finite, but, you know, if 10 is infinite, like, that's definitely infinite. Okay, but all joking aside, that's like a super large number, but we know it's finite. But we can't know like the exact value, we just know it's finite. And we have like a lower bound on the number, and like the upper bound is basically just, yeah, it's not infinity. The song could have felt a bit longer or less repetitive. Yeah, it's getting a bit repetitive, but that's the thing when you play something for like an extended period of time, which I mean, 18 minutes is not an extended period of time, but like, it's probably longer than, you know, the, the amount of time that you will spend listening to a lot of other things, like that are not video game related. So, like, video game music has to, like, be able to, you know, keep interest, even though it's not that long. Like, it, it has to loop well, but it also has to be not repetitive, as you said. I think the main thing about this is that there's not really a lot of development. It's like, it kind of just remains static. And if you have something like... Uh, let me just give an example. I mean, it's not like... I was going to say Honey Zip Inc, because that's one of my favorite OSTs, but even that doesn't really develop. Okay, maybe Bee Berserk. That is like definitely something that develops. And you have like chords changing. So yeah. Does that have a lot of editor feel? Yeah. You know, this looks like something that you could, you know make and level hand, except of course the mechanic. Oh yeah, I should probably use it, be using that earlier. Yeah, you're right. Here it doesn't really matter, I guess. But here... Yeah, basically immediately. Okay. Uh, nope, that was not great. Oh, I managed to actually not save it. <laughs> I just killed the snowball. Okay. Almost. Yeah, okay, this is much easier. Oh, I have so much more time to react. Why did that not work? <laughs> Eh. Cool. Okay. Why did that- oh, come on. I was inside the wall, probably. Oh. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I like that you have a lot of margin for error with this. <laughs> Was that it? Just leave me alone, okay. Wait, what? I'm so dumb being controlled all the time. Okay, I'll, fine, I'll... I'll Take my hands off the keyboard if that's like better. Come on, come on, Yanni, you're part of me. Okay, the classic line. You know we have to stay together. I told you I'm done. You're acting childish. Just shut up already. Oh my god, boss fight. I was not expecting this. Can I hurt this or not? No. I also can't use the uh, thing. I think it's just avoidance. This is cool. Oh. 
Nine, okay. Using the arena and well, nice. Oh, that was, uh... I mean, that was probably enough time to react, but I, I, no. I, I love that it's using all of its body to attack us. Also, like, no explanation for how it got this big, just like, yeah, it is. He got angry. True. Mad. <laughs> Mad in the other definition. Ah. Good fights don't require explanation. True. I mean, I find the battle and fight in Celeste better because of the fact that there's context, but there, there doesn't have to be context for that. Okay, this is actually easier to do on a controller, I think. Oh, that was an indicator that I had to jump. Okay. Whoops. I thought the arrow said it was going to do something. Well, I'll just uh, survive all of these attacks again. Good practice. Okay, nice, we got that. So now we just need to kill all of the other parts, I assume. I think, like, if you know that you have to attack it, it's a lot of time. But, like, yeah, if you're on the other side of the map, like, it's barely... Just, like, barely possible, which... Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, the I, I noticed the um, the attack patterns are set, like it's not randomized in which order they are. That could have been something cool, like randomized. Like always have like a set number of attacks, but just have them in a random order. But then again, th this game I, I should probably mention this game was made for a game jam, so it was probably like somewhere between two days and a week to make this. So, you know, considering the fact that, you know, considering that context, I mean, I think this is really good. I mean, so if Celeste was made in a week, then it would probably look like this too. Uh, maybe even worse. The cat is indeed strong. It just says Ace Roller Jam Zero, which I don't know, like... It's not a game jam I recognize, but, um... Yeah. You know what also often happens with game jam games is that the creators often polish them afterwards. So I have, like, you know, the, the version of what it would be if I actually had more time. And often, you know, game jam games turn into actual full releases. That is so devious. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm first going to take a bit of distance and then immediately go for it. Because if I would just stay on the right side, I'll probably get hit by the bullets. This boss alone could have been the whole thing. Yeah. True. I am like... Sort of, I, I've, I'm always saying like I'm starting to get into get to game development, but it's like I've been saying that for five years now. So it's like I, I never actually end up, you know, putting a lot of time into it because I end up just, you know, working on videos instead, or you know, working for school or composing, and like game dev is like always the last thing I want to do, even though I enjoy it. It's just a bit more demanding. Yeah, okay, you can do that. 
It's a bit tight probably, but that, that's nothing else. I really don't want to die now. Otherwise I'll have to just do this again. Oh, okay. I thought you could hit the eye. That's probably something for later. Oh, the laser keeps getting bigger. Oh, dang it. Okay. You have to hit those blocks, didn't you? You know, a checkpoint in this would have been nice. Yeah, that's basically impossible to, you know, not get hit there. I don't know how I did that, like, the second time. Like, I just jumped and I, it just worked. You can do the schmooves. That's always uh, important. If you can schmoove in a game, it's a good game. <laughs> That's my criterion now. Such an idiot. Okay. This might take a bit. Just now noticed when when the hands drop to shoot projectiles, the lifespan is short enough to not hit you from the other side of the arena. Interesting. I don't know, yeah, I don't think that's useful. I think it's just better if I just try to dodge them. Because I need to be kind of close to them anyway. Right? Now, avoid these lasers, just, you know, run for a bit. You know, a lot of fights, if they're not well thought out, they're very cheesable. This is not very cheesable. So, you know, that's good. No, oh, let's go. <laughs> GG, thanks for playing. <laughs> that was the best. That was the best effect ever. You really, you really noticed that they had a lot of time left when they made that. Okay, barely didn't get sub 30, but uh, hey, that was pretty good. Okay, we just, we just booted back to here. I think I can definitely like try to go for a better time on this. I might do that off stream. Uh, except if you really want me to, uh, then I can do it now. But otherwise I'll be switching to 140, or I might, you know, no, we'll first do a chess. Wait, I need to... No? Okay. Alright, let's open a chess.com. Uh, I'm just going to open this in a separate window, so... You know. Yeah. You wanna do chess too? I, I can't play two people at the same time, that's not how that works. <laughs> 